In this tutorial, you will learn how to create foundations in Revit. Starting with the model we created in the basic modeling tutorial. And in that tutorial, we created a massing as a way to represent the foundation wall. For now, let's click that and delete that. And let's also click the top of solid we created in that model. In the bottom view tab, um, let's go click the temporary hide isolate and hide element. And now there is going to be a blue bounding box indicating that there is an element being temporarily hidden. So the first thing we should do is go to our project browser and we should go to an elevation. So right now let's do a south elevation and let's look at our level. And we can see where we need to draw the foundation wall um, and how high do we want to draw it. Um, I changed the, the naming of my level to BO foundation. BO means bottom of and TO means top of. So let's go to our project browser again, bottom of foundation. And now we can see the plan and we can draw our wall. In the architecture tab, um, let's click wall, the down arrow, and it's going to ask us what type of wall for now. Knowing that the architectural drawing is just a representation of the model and that the structural engineer is the one responsible for creating the actual structural drawing of the foundation, we should just use for now the wall architectural model. And then let's select a type. For now, let's do a generic eight inch. And then we can draw a rectangular, change the location line to the exterior face, and then draw a rectangular wall. And then we can look at the instances that our wall is being drawn in the base constraint of bottom of foundation, and then top constraint is the basement with the one foot top offset. And then let's go back to our 3D. And now let's exit out of that command. Now we can see that now we have that foundation. And then to create the footing, um, we should go to the structural tab. And in the structural tab, there is that foundation. There are three types of foundation, isolated, wall, and slab. For this tutorial, let's do a wall footing. So let's click that. And then on the multiple in the modify tab, let's select multiple. So now we can select all the walls and then finish. And now our footing is being drawn. Now let's edit the foundation that we just modeled. Um, let's bring back the top of solid that we temporarily hide on your view tab. Click the sunglasses icon and then reset temporary hide and isolate. And that will bring us back the topo solid that we just hidden. On the properties tab, uh, make sure you're in the 3D view. And on the extents, let's check the section box. That will give us a section box that we can modify and adjust so that we can start to see the foundation that we just created. Let's zoom in. And now we can see our foundation. Let's select the footing. And to adjust that footing in the properties tab, instances, we can change the eccentricity, which essentially provides an offset of the foundation. For example, if we do a six inch offset, that will adjust the placement of that footing. You can also define the different structural elements. Um, for that model. Um, but since the architecture model is just a representation of the structural element, it's not necessary to adjust this. In your drawing, you will need to provide um, a note referring to the structural mod model or structural drawing as the scope where the contractor will need to look at when determining the structural element of the building. You can also go to the edit type and adjust the dimension 
based on the calculation of the structural engineer so that your drawings and their drawings are coordinated. But now let's hit cancel. Now let's edit the level of our footing. So let's go back to our plan view of the bottom of the foundation. Let's zoom in and let's go to the view tab and then create section, building section, and let's draw a building section across our site. And that will automatically create a view in our project browser. So let's click section one. Now let's click the footing that we just created. And we can see that that footing is a 36 by 12 inches. So now we know how much adjustment we need to do in order to get the bottom of that foundation to that level. So let's select the wall foundation that we created. And then on the properties in the instances, we can specify that the base offset is one foot. And then let's hit apply. And now that the bottom of our foundation is in that same level. And you can do that with the rest of the foundation wall um, that we just created. And that's how you make foundation in Revit.